Hey guys, welcome back to She Knows. You may know this, this cute little face here on our couch. She may know. She may know. She may know. This is Matthew Morrison. He stars on Glee and is coming out with a new Christmas album called Classic Christmas on November 19th. Are you impressed? I remembered all those stats right uh, You didn't have to look at your notes. I know. So impressive. A great memory. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about why you wanted to do a Christmas album. Well, it kind of came as a surprise to all of us. Uh, we, uh, we were in the studio doing my last album called Where It All Began. It was a collection of Broadway standards. And uh, it was in March. And we were in the studio, and we were just having so much fun with it. We were like, let's, let's do some Christmas songs as well. So we kind of put that all together. And uh, it was in March, and we, we, we decorated the studio with uh, Christmas lights and made it very festive and got in the holiday spirit in March, and it, proving that it's never too early or too late to get no, into the spirit. No, no, yeah, I so. was playing Christmas music today. Well, there you go. Exactly. Was it my Christmas music? It was, well, one song, Okay. this the, Christmas. The one, yes, the single Which, that I just found out that was the single. Y yeah, Apparently. but it's great. You're getting lots of good <laughs> feedback from it. Fantastic. I will read some to you, are you oh, ready? Oh, wow. Are you ready? We're already going Everyone there. Everyone watch his face closely. So the first one is, I'm Jewish, so I don't own many Christmas albums, but I'm definitely buying this one. Sweet. Aww. I think I broke the replay button. Love this rendition. Good okay. one. You have lifted my spirits, Matthew Morrison. Wow. Wow. And the last one, listening to you is a real place, a real please for my ears and soul. A real please yeah. for my ears and soul. Yeah. That's I think deep. they meant pleasure, but they wrote pleasure. Yeah, but yeah. Either way, I mean, that's, hey, that's I'll, some I'll please reaction. your ears and your soul. That's great. <laughs> so what's your favorite song on the album? Ah, uh, my favorite song on the album. You know what? It's, it has to be um, I'll Be Home for Christmas. It's like a it's a little bit of a mashup. Uh, I'll Be Home for Christmas that leads into Melikalikimaka. Ooh. Yes. Um, I get to, you know, the, the whole album is done with a 60-piece orchestra which is so great. I, it's, it's something that they don't really do much anymore, right. so it was great. I got to do it at Capitol Records right down the street, and uh, it, was, it was a great thing. But I, I got to actually play with the orchestra and play my ukulele. Wow, yeah. that is pretty cool. How did you choose what songs you wanted on the album? Um, you know, these are a lot of the songs that just kind of spoke to me, songs that I, I sang as a kid uh, when I went caroling. Um, and, and songs that, that have that real classic. The, the, uh, the album is entitled Classic Christmas because I wanted that, that classic feel. The you know, songs, uh, albums I listened to growing up were Frank Sinatra, Bing, Bing Crosby, stuff like that. So would you compare it to them a little bit? Um, it has a little bit of that, that flavor for sure, but a little more, um, I guess, modern arrangements. As modern as you could do with uh, you know, violins and, and saxophones and stuff. But it, 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 I took, definitely took my own take on it. Okay, so what do you think is the biggest difference between your Christmas album and all the other albums that are out there? <clears throat> wow, you big know, question. big question. Dun, dun, dun. It's hard with it's hard to kind of recreate a Christmas song because, you know, for me, Christmas music enhances memory, and I, I feel like these songs in particular, you know, they hopefully they'll make you create new memories uh, with, with this music. And if not, you know, recall old memories that you have um, of listening to the Christmas. And I know when I hear Christmas music, it makes me think of family, um, it makes me think of food, and which mo both make me very happy. Yeah, so, I'm always thinking about food. Yeah. Yeah. Not so much family, <laughs> more food. More food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> so what's your best Christmas memory? My best Christmas memory would probably be when I was six years old, mm -hmm. maybe seven. Mm -hmm. um, I came, I, I would say I came downstairs. It was a one level house. I don't know why I think I had <laughs> stairs. It's the movie. It was the movie. I came downstairs. <laughs> came downstairs. <laughs> no, I came into uh, like our family room and I'll be home. Uh, yeah, I'll be home for Christmas pl was playing on the on the radio or I, no, it wasn't an iPod, definitely wasn't an iPod <laughs> back then, uh, but it was playing, and there is this huge dinosaur that dwarfed the Christmas tree. Oh, man. Um, it was like a big six-foot blow-up dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus rex, and I remember just being so, like, impressed and in awe of this dinosaur. That was the only thing I remember because I don't remember actually playing with it because I didn't I play say, with it. How, how did you play you with don't that dinosaur? Have, you know, what you, happened to it? I don't know. <laughs> but I just remember that moment of it, walking in. It was just, it was amazing. It made the Christmas tree look small and then disappeared. Yes, it did. But yeah. that was that was my, my, my most uh, fondest Christmas memory. So what was your best Christmas present ever? 
That was it. That was the best. The Christmas. dinosaur. You didn't even play with it. What do you mean? You said you didn't play with it. I know. Okay. Best Christmas present that I played with. Yeah. Um, a train set. Okay. Yeah. That's the little electronic train set. For boys. Yeah. That's cute. It was cute. So do you still believe in Santa Claus? Nope. No. No. Uh, oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I, 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 yes, I, I do cute, believe right? in Santa Claus. <laughs> um. Yeah, and, um, no, I don't. My parents didn't want to buy me presents anymore, so they just told me really fast. Okay, well, think right now. What's on your Christmas wish list? Peace and happiness throughout the world. Um, you know... He's on a beauty pageant <laughs> right now, apparently. <laughs> what was that one thing that woman said? Uh, world peace. No, oh. oh, yeah. You know I what don't I'm thinking remember. of? You know what I'm thinking of? I do. And, and they, I don't think oh, it made any uh, sense. No, it didn't make any like, sense. like, peace in... And country people. <laughs> anyways, um, honestly, I, I feel very blessed that I, I have a, a very comfortable life. And so I, I think the thing I want for the Christmas this year is, and I, what I try to do every year is to really just try to give back. Um, there's a lot of people out there who, who won't be having Christmas around a, a nice roaring fire. Yeah. Um, so I, I think uh, it's always important for me. To, I, I try to go every year to a homeless shelter and, and do something with with them, and you know, give food or presents to kids and stuff. So that's that's always been a, a like you said before, a, like what a tradition I usually have is mm -hmm. that's one of them. Well, hand out your album so they can at least jam that's to some Christmas. Good one. Well, I don't think it's there is a physical album. It's just an EP, so it's just oh. gonna be electronic. So I don't. You can burn I, discs. That's maybe. true. Maybe. I don't, what would they play? I, I mean, I don't know. I'm sure shelters have CDs. Yeah. Yeah. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Do you think you're going to be listening to your Christmas album, or will you be listening to others? Is that weird to listen to yourself? Like, I think like it is. Or something? I think it is. Uh, <laughs> I probably won't be listening to it. I, I, I might, like, when some family's around, put it on, get a general vibe, see if anyone even knows it's me. <laughs> Um, but I'll probably be listening to the stuff I, I usually listen to. The Jackson 5 Christmas album is a favorite of mine. Um, Bing Crosby, Frank Sinatra, like I said. You gotta throw Mariah Carey in there. That's a good album. Is yeah. she good? I mean, I like Mariah Carey. No, it, it, you know, and I think it's, there's not many people that, that can come up with an original song that hasn't been done before that is so huge. And All I Want for Christmas is probably one of the biggest Christmas songs there is. Yeah. Well, since this whole conversation is about Christmas, you got to tell us what the Christmas special is going to be like for Glee. Give us some hints. Some hints. Well, we're actually shooting it right now. Okay. So he um, knows everything. So I, I know a lot about what's going on because sometimes we do episodes and I just forget it because mm -hmm. we're like right into the next one. Um, and it's great. It's a great feeling on set just because we, we actually do Secret Santas and stuff like while we're filming the Christmas episode. Um, and it's a... Uh, Who's your secret Santa? I can't tell you. Oh, come on. This won't, this won't go live before they know. I don't want to tell you. No, I can't. Don't tell me. Okay. Can't. Um, you can text me later. Uh, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Awkward? Like, what is this going? She's inviting herself to New York. She's expecting me to give her... Money. I'm really friendly. I don't... What okay, can I say? gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> okay, so give us a little spoiler. Okay, let's get back over <laughs> Um, no, um... What was the question? Oh, holiday episode of Glee. Um, it's called Previously Unaired Christmas. Okay. And the kind of premise of it is, uh, it, I, I can't get too much away, but it's, it's a Christmas episode we shot before, but they, it was so kind of wrong that, we, that Fox locked it in the vault. Oh. So, um, yeah, that's kind of so the premise So you're fixing some things? Yeah. All right. Well, we can't wait to see it, and we can't wait for your album coming out November 19th. Go buy it, and keep checking back for more interviews on SheKnows.com.